What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kaguya sama Love is War Seasons 2, Episodes 1 and 2. Now, before we get into the episode or anything, I just want you guys to know some of you guys are aware with the first and last episode of every season of every show we put on the channel, the full length version, which is normally available exclusively on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. So, click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. Come back here for the review when you're done. And if you guys want to consider keeping those features, keeping that full length, maybe check out that Patreon. Great benefits over there. I am very excited to find out what happens in the season. We're finally starting. Not finally. They've had feelings for each other for a while, but we're that whole firework arc at the end of season one thoroughly enjoyed i could totally see us getting together at the end of the show hopefully i'm praying but until then i have no idea what to expect i am very excited like i said don't forget to check out that patreon don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out the other social medias instagram tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop right on into this uh episode one um normally i would read the title i always forget they're so long because they're in three parts but let's hop right on into this Yeah, this is, has to be like a imagination. Why does the school council room have laser? Why is Hayasaka looking so badass in her night assassin guard? He replaced his coffee. Any second now. Stop. So like a melatonin Benadryl in his coffee make him go to sleep? decaffeinated coffee so the caffeine is the only thing that <laughs> the only thing that keeps them up little did you expect he would fall over in his sleep she got like a red alert on her hair her hair rubber band the first topic of the first episode of the second season is Hayasaka's hardships. Now she's back in the badass assassin mode. <laughs> Mission Impossible. This literally is like Mission Impossible. Isn't that what they used to do? Have a fuse just constantly be going? Well played. Ishigami turned right around. <laughs> That's uh, Chica with what's her dog's name? I think I had it. I didn't have it written down. Like Pe Pesu Peru. This girl is going to stop anyone from entering or seeing in that room. That was already hit. What the hell? That was before summer vacay. And now, okay. This is a new, a new guy coming for love advice. Normally it's the main, main couple. Wait, wait, wait. This is the same guy? Uh-huh. Got the earrings, got the new hair color, and no glasses. Is he coming over here to flex or is he actually want help? Okay. Okay. Too awesome, really? <laughs> yeah, choke him out, do something. <laughs> I don't know. I sense the divine. He's experienced nerve. They bring it back to ABCs. Based off his attitude and personality, I would also guess he experienced Nirvana. If you know what I'm saying. Ishigami is curious. Has this has this student gone all the way? The ABCs of love. Hey, Chica knows. She's the love detective. One in three people. Divine deeds. Okay, now we're getting a little. Now we're getting a little crazy.
five dates before Nirvana? It's not that much. What's with that leg kick? What the hell? Everyone loses. I see. I see. Yatta! <laughs> Misfortune. Damn. Oh. Damn. Yeah, don't die like me. <laughs> I know, I hate people like that. He just has bad luck, so he says the game is trash. An event card. After school event. Okay. The nerdy student card. Hell yeah. Ah, I see. I mean, it's not lucky, but it works out at the end. <laughs> you get a distress all men card. That is so funny. Lots of money going to get a good education. Nice. Uh oh, this does happen in, in uh, this does happen in the game of life. You have kids and everything. I love the 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 marriage music they're playing in the background. That's hilarious. Come on, Kaguya. Entrepreneurial success. This is how life goes. You're the happy business person, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But that's not what she wants. She wants love. The late divorce? <gasps> Miyuki cheated? You're a scumbag. <laughs> Hell yeah! Distrust all men! <laughs> Gotta marry Chica! Kaguya wins! Lawsuit payout, loss of trust. Yeah, Kaguya and Miyuki and technically Ishigami all went through it, but he liked it. If you marry Chica, it will drive you to depression. About one year earlier. A year later, and she wants to celebrate his birthday. Hell yeah. Fortune teller, love detective, everything all wrapped into one. Okay. It's one of those, like, a horror, I know, like a horoscope website. Ooh, it's a good way to bring it up without forcing it out. I have a friend who's born on January 1st as well. Alexandrite can be red or blue? That's crazy. I need to up my gemstone knowledge. No, we did not. No, ma'am. March 3rd, Girls' Day. You're like the flame of a candle. And your heat slowly melts ice. Oh, you guys. Most definitely does, sadly, but hey, that's what happens. <laughs> Any dedication or affection here. Mm, not interested. I don't know about the Barnum effects. I don't know. Yes, yes. That is very facts. That's literally what horoscopes and astrology are. 
I believe more in feng, sh feng shui than I do in horoscopes and astrology, 100%. These guys are so extra. I love it. Pretty iffy. <laughs> An angelic smile. She's no longer the devil. Kaguya wins for being in a good mood. Oh, be careful of slips of the tongue. That sounds like <laughs> Ishigami. All right, on to episode two of season two. Let's do it. Window shopping. Is this Chica's little sister? And his birthday is right around the corner. It works perfectly. Who hates dishonesty and is totally pure. Oh, perfect opportunity. She's right next to you. That is hilarious. And we know from last season that Kay is also very nervous around Kagi as well. So this is just a big old bundle of nervousness, you know, both of them together. Yeah, I would not say that's a natural conversation fault. I don't think they celebrate. Oh. Come on, that's a good older brother. He feigns ignorance. <laughs> no, that's just being a good older brother, I know. Oh my god, look at that reaction time. That's okay, holy shit, the diving catch. He's not wrong. <laughs> this is quite interesting to say the least. Yes, please. That was fun. That's all Kaguya wanted to hear. Hmm. <laughs> You're putting your boobies on our my president, Chica? Of carnal desire. Even though that's not a man, Kaguya. Come on, get in this group hug. <laughs> she like levitates over. Kaguya wins. Yep. Low life. What is she writing down her measurements? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. Ayasaka is right, though. As someone who gets a 2,000 yen book coupon gift card for Christmas, that's quite the cake. I wouldn't even want that. But I must... Respect Kaguya. She goes over the top for her man. Yeah, look at you comparing the sizes. The... The... Burj Khalifa in Dubai is smaller than that cake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she compared the Eiffel Tower to a... Like, that's hilarious. She's on trial. Who is the... Who is the middle Kaguya? I like the look of Devil Kaguya, though. Court is in session. I get it. I get both sides. Both have a point, you know. 
What is the big picture? True. True. Because you love him. This is yourself. This is yourself telling you this. So don't lie to yourself. Okay, Ice Queen. Certainly, he is top caliber. And I admit, he looks pretty damn good. He's a handsome man, but... Shouts, <laughs> Shouts out to the full Kogia. Come on. <laughs> You're getting hit. <laughs> oh, they didn't even say it, but we know what they meant. The middle Kaguya we finally get to hear. That's what Hayasaka said! I mean, you are the real one of us. I know. We're all in your head. We're all a cognitive imagination. Mmm, got him a slice of that nice cake. Not the entirety of the cake, but just a nice slice of yummy cake where we can have it and eat it too, you know? And a birthday present, nice. Oh, a fan. It's a nice quality fan. Unyielding diligence in one's studies. But that's a nice compromise for a gift. Something cheap, but still has a lot of passion for it because she notices he gets hot. She did the calligraphy, she put in the work, and he's so ecstatic, you know, slice of yummy cake, you know, come on. The Kaguya is in as, as an entity, the whole. Okay, the delicious cake afterwards. He loves that fan. <laughs> yes, Chica, you finally drawn it out of me. I am. Checkmate. <laughs> If you think that's gonna work on Kaguya, she's not already have thought of that and have like a backup plan, like you know, like true, true. He's like, I'm just gonna play the long game like I've been playing. Where'd you get that fan? Well played, a friend though. Interesting choice of words. This was not a part of his calculations, his variables at all. Kaguya. Yep, I told you. If you ever think of a plan A, you have to have B, C, and D ready, because she's already thought of them. That is crazy. Kaguya is so smart. <laughs> That's strange. He only told me about it. That is so weird. Well played, Kaguya. Well played. <laughs> oh i didn't even tell her damn it's more less on me more on her and so now we turn it to kaguya kaguya what do you have to do explain yourself oh she's already had the plan she's already had the plan c ready I know. She can't focus on her plan. <laughs> she is still too distracted. Here comes Ishigami. That's an actually for like a student council president, that's a nice gift. A good quality pen. Shouts out Ishigami. It went from being on Chika, back to being on Miyuki, over to Kaguya, back to Chika. Jesus, Ishigami's roasting her. You can run, but you're still an asshole! She does, he doesn't realize how much he saved Kaguya right there. 
Wait, he. Oh, it's so funny. Ishigami and Kaguya's relationship, so funny. Chika loses. So does K. <laughs> K loses because she wants a present as, or a present from Kaguya as well. Well, to a start of a new season, it felt exactly like Kaguya, no different, which is a, which is a great thing. Um, still continuing our efforts to make the other person confess their love for us, which is still just a hilarious, a hilarious concept in general. Like it's just, I told my friend about the concept of the show. He's like, wait, he was like, but love shouldn't be like that. Like you should, you should love. I'm like, I was like, stop taking it too seriously. Come on, this is just, this is just hilariosity and love, and especially as a, as a teenager or a child, you know, like this is, this is so, this is so non-realistic, but also very realistic as to what would happen. This is the anime version of realistic, you know. So I just love it. But super hilarious, super funny with Hayasaka trying to, <laughs> trying to help with Kaguya's endeavors, just being the Mission Impossible badass that she is. And we have going out window shopping with Kay. And we have everything with the birthday with my boy Miyuki and the fan. Kagi was actually like, I really enjoyed that birthday present. I really enjoyed Kagi's attention and remembering his blood type, the, how much he weighed when he was a baby. It's just all in all hilarious. Ishigami hilarious. Chika hilarious. That board game is super fun. I want to play it. Bring it over, Chika. We can play it. I don't know. I just love this show. I really do. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. I will see y'all in the next reaction. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.